Hi, this is Jim Mazinski with Outsports.com. Over the years, Outsports has run hundreds of stories of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender athletes, coaches, administrators, whatever, whatever who have come out. But a much, much smaller subset and kind of rather unusual subset are those athletes and the pros who've decided to come out publicly as straight. For various reasons, these uh, athletes have had rumors about themselves being gay and they felt compelled to kind of clear the record in their mind and come out as straight. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the five pro athletes who have come out publicly as heterosexual. First up is Cordell Stewart, then quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Stewart has been the subject of rumors for years, going back to his days of the Steelers in the 1990s. It got so bad to the point that he told Sports Illustrated that the rumor was, quote, so absurd it was almost funny. And some Steelers admit they were phased by the rumors that Stewart was gay until he called a meeting before the 1999 season and issued a denial that included graphic descriptions of heterosexual acts he enjoys. I could see the humor in the situation, Stewart said, so I decided to have some fun with it. At one point I said, you better not leave your girlfriends around me because I'm out to prove a point. Well, they didn't get rid of the Stewart rumors that um, he was married to the Portia, who is a real housewife of Atlanta, and for years the rumor has still cropped up as recently as just this past December when a sex tape surfaced that people said was a gay sex tape, but uh, Stewart said it was, was not, it was heterosexual, and he said, I don't do dude. So Stewart has had those rumors around him for years, as has the next one, Troy Aikman. Then with the Dallas Cowboys, now lead analyst on Fox NFL's uh, Sunday commentary, NFL shows. Um, Aikman, for whatever reason, has been dogged with rumors of being gay way back to his days with the Cowboys in the 1990s. Um, it, was, it was rumors I heard uh, as a sports editor back in the 90s and pre-internet days. It was something that was written about in a book uh, by Skip Bayless, which caused Aikman to get really, really upset with uh, Bayless to the point where, you know, Aikman said he'd like to punch Bayless. And even 20 years later, they're still going at it. Bayless, uh, Bayless, who had been on ESPN and is now on Fox, would resurface and say he really didn't mean to insinuate that Aikman was gay, but that he was simply talking about rumors that everyone else was talking about. And Aikman then went ahead and said, you know, that uh, he doesn't, uh, he didn't choose that lifestyle. Um, Aikman's never been good about sort of being cool with the idea that people may think he's gay. He seems to think it's something offensive. So we've kind of said, we've, we've sort of had a feeling of a plague on both our houses for both Aikman and um, Skip Bayless. The third one on our list is Mike Piazza, who was then catcher with the uh, uh, L.A. Dodgers and the New York Mets. And in the early part of the 2000s, there was a rumor that Piazza and New York City weatherman Sam Champion had bought an apartment together in Manhattan and were living as gay lovers. Um, we don't know that there was really any truth to that, but... It got, uh, the rumors got so hot and heavy when they were published as a blind item in the New York uh, Post that um, Piazza took the unusual step of actually calling a press conference to announce that he was in fact straight. Um, and I'll read from his uh, press conference in 2002. I'm not gay, I'm heterosexual. Uh, and then he goes, in this day and age it's irrelevant, I don't think it would be a problem at all. And, you know, in a book he wrote uh, in 2013, Piazza said, I found it hugely insulting that people believe I do go so far out of my way to act out a lifestyle that would amount to a charade. If I was gay, I'd be gay all the way. So Aikman was not bothered by the rumors. He was just bothered by the fact that people thought he was lying about his sexual orientation. Number four on our list is Jeff Garcia, who played quarterback for the Eagles and for the 49ers specifically, and I think for a couple other teams. Uh, in 2004, rumors started that Garcia was gay, part of it being spread by his then-teammate uh, Terrell Owens with the Eagles, who said, Like my boy tells me, if it looks like a rat and smells like a rat, by golly, it is a rat. That caused Garcia to respond, I've heard the rumors myself that I'm gay. That's not the case. I've had girlfriends in the past, and I, I do want to be married someday. Somebody said it's obviously doesn't have a clue to who I am as a person, and secondly speaks from a sense of having jealousy for what I've been able to attain in a person, and is trying to knock me. Well, they're not knocking me. Uh, Garcia, like Piazza uh, before him, has gotten married, uh, and, and Garcia, unlike Piazza, seemed to act like a bit of a dick when the idea surfaced that he actually might be gay. And uh, number five and most current on our list is Aaron Rodgers, quarterback, Green Bay Packers. Uh, these rumors started a couple years ago when uh, Rogers then, 
had, had been his uh, roommate, then was his business partner, and then they had a falling out. A guy named Kevin Lanfleisi went on Twitter and had a Twitter storm where he made it sound like the two of them had broken up. They clearly had some rift in their relationship, and it got so bad in terms of the rumors that Rogers was forced to address it on a radio show, and he said, quote, had to deal with crazy rumors that swirl around um, that are just silly. And um, he said, I'm not gay. I really, really like women. That's all I can really say about it. Um, Rogers has, uh, since these rumors started, been dating uh, actress Olivia Munn and has been very, very open about the fact that he is not gay and really, really likes women. So there you go. There are the five athletes that have come out publicly as straight. Um, it's a small, <laughs> very small number to compare to the hundreds of a very positive LGBT stories we come out, uh, but they're amusing nonetheless. This is Jim Bazinski for Outsports.com.